Good morning, my people. Yes, we're at the Crazy Clown Maze once again. It is July 2nd, and we are throwing down on hot cave action. So let's get this bad boy done. Boo, wah. Hey, people, Stuart Smith from Stuart Designs. We're at the Crazy Clown Maze. If you are unaware of me or have uh, just stumbled on the channel, I paint monsters and do nasty things for the Halloween and laser tag industry. So we're here producing a cave lobby area. This is the first attraction people will go through when they buy their tickets and then head into the haunt. So they're going to go through a really cool attraction before they go into the actual attraction, which is going to be really awesome. So we're using um, Portland cement, Durabon 90 plaster sheetrock, uh, sand, hopper gun, putty knives, foam, throwing down, and then um, the latter part of this week, we will be doing an awesome paint job. Now, when we do the paint job, I plan on using uh, semi-gloss rather than flats because uh, with the lighting he's going to use, I want to uh, look like the cave is wet and stuff. He is going to have a waterfall in there as well, which is going to be pretty cool. So enjoy the transitions. Hey, please subscribe. Uh, there will be a playlist in the description below of other things we've done. And if you'd like to support the channel, there is also a PayPal link in the description below. So, hey, thanks for coming on board. Enjoy the adventure with me. And, uh, hey, we'll see you on the next video. So it was a pretty hot day yesterday. And um, battery went dead on my camera. So I couldn't show you all this in video. But got a lot done. Um, adding in some new areas. Uh, the white area you see is the Durabon 90. And uh, worked out really nice. Uh, I'll use insulation and then um, kind of a slurry of the Durabond, uh, almost like cheese soup. And make sure you get it all through the fibers and you can sculpt to make all sorts of cool designs. And then when she gets painted up, it's going to look amazing. Uh, we most likely will be hopper gunning these today, but I have some more additions I need to do before I do that. And also we're utilizing some of the thermo, um, thermoform panels that uh, the gentleman I'm working for here found uh, in the back area. So uh, it's make my life a little bit easier in some areas. So, hey, we're going to sit there and have some uh, time lapse later on in the video. But I just wanted to show you guys. Uh, what got done yesterday.
Yeah, this is what happens to you when you um, tilt the hopper gun a little too far. And um, it, it gives you a kiss. Yeah, that's going to be a good time getting that out of the beard. But uh, hey, we're done with the distressing. Ready to paint. So my man is picking up the paint tomorrow. It's coming on in. We're going to go with a satin kind of semi-gloss finish so the lights will reflect off of it. Distressing and nasties. It's going to be really cool. So I really appreciate you guys stopping by. Please subscribe. Check out those videos in the description below. And hey, we will see you on the next video. Now I'm going to go wash up. Take care.